The authors came to a consensus. No region is left untouched, says climate analyst Kelly Levin of the World Resources Institute, speaking to us by Skype. The biggest take-home message is that climate change is uh, widespread and consequential. Rising temperatures will bring more extreme weather, food and water shortages, and irreversible changes to ecosystems that result in coral death, forest loss, and species extinction. We see statements with regard to um, the impacts of coastal flooding um, associated with sea level rise and without adaptation, the idea that by the end of the century we could have hundreds of millions um, exposed and displaced because of coastal flooding. Those floods will be more common in Africa and Australia, and heat waves are expected in North America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. The poorest, who have the fewest resources to adapt to the new, warmer world, are the most vulnerable. Food security and economic well-being are also at stake. Despite these dire predictions, the report is not all gloom and doom, says co-chair Christopher Fields. But although it focuses on a cold, analytical, and sometimes depressing view of the challenges we face. It also maps the opportunities that are intrinsic in the solution space, and it looks at ways we can combine adaptation, mitigation, transformation of society in an effort that can really help us build a world that's not only better prepared to deal with climate change, but is fundamentally a better world. Outside the venue in Yokohama, activist Christiane Thiriet, with the Global Call for Climate Action, joined others to urge world leaders to curb climate-changing emissions from power plants, cars, and buildings. They have ample opportunity this year and next year at important climate summits, and that is when they need to put better policies on the table to save their people and the environments we depend on from climate change. The IPCC report can help negotiators as they work toward a new global climate treaty by 2015. That will replace the Kyoto Protocol, which expired in 2012. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.